Welcome to Designing with Hall Effect Sensors. In this video, you will learn about how an HMI rocker switch can be built with Hall Effect Sensors. Some of the challenges associated with an HMI rocker switch include the small form factor, common magnet characteristics, and mechanical tolerances. For this HMI rocker switch module, you can use omnipolar Hall Effect switches to solve various design challenges. Our design leverages various sensitivity variants from the DRV5033 and DRV5032. DRV5033 has a wide supply range between 2.5 volts and 38 volts and is available in an automotive qualified package. DRV5032 is a low power part with a typical 1.06 microamp supply current and offers multiple sensitivity variants, including one with an operating point as high as 47 milliteslas. To start our design, we begin with the system function and where it is housed. In this case, we are looking at a tri-state switch similar to what you might find for raising and lowering car power windows. These switches are typically housed in the armrest of a car door. The armrest defines the spatial constraints for the window module, which we will assume to be 4 inches by 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches. Subsequently, we consider switch dimensions that are constrained to a smaller space suitable to the ergonomics of the average human finger size and range of mobility. At this point, we look at how we translate the user movement into an electric stimulus. Our implementation will leverage two omnipolar switches. When the user moves the rocker sufficiently down to the right, the right magnet triggers the BOP threshold, which moves the window down. Then, when the user pushes down sufficiently far to the left, the right BRP and the left BOP are triggered, moving the window back up. The moving piece, the rocker of our electromechanical switch, will be where our magnet is housed and we can expect the magnet will be some fraction of the size of this rocker. Based on this subconstraint, and depending on whether we can leverage the economy of scale for a custom sized magnet, we may need an off the shelf magnet. A quick search from various magnet providers indicates that it is difficult to find ceramic, alenco, and samarium cobalt magnets in this form factor. However, we can find a suitably small neodymium magnet. For our design, we use this magnet. Upon selecting the magnet, we set a design goal of our magnet triggering our Hall Effect switch's BOP before state 1 is reached, as well as triggering BRP before returning past state 2. To realize this goal, we can go to a Hall Effect sensor product page on TI.com, click Design and Development, and download the Magnetic Sensing Proximity tool. After opening the tool, we can select Magnet Movement, Shape, and Orientation. Subsequently, we can enter the magnet dimensions and the relevant displacement values we would like to try in our design. Then, we can put in the operating voltage and select a device of interest, in this case, the DRV5033 FAQ DBZ. Here we can see that while our typical transition points are within the design goal, BOP max and BRP min are not. To address this, we could consider a device with higher thresholds. By exploiting the nonlinear behavior of magnet field strength, we see that an equivalently spaced hysteresis range moved higher on the curve will lead to a smaller transition range. Therefore, we consider the DRV5033 AJQ DBZ with the higher thresholds. Despite this improvement, it still doesn't provide a lot of extra margin due to the hysteresis region size increasing. Therefore, to provide even more margin, we consider the DRV5032ZEDBZ, which provides quite a bit of margin, an important feature when you factor in mechanical variation. After finding a design that satisfies our design goal, we build and test it in the lab. Here is the switch module we made. The LED lights indicate when a switch state is activated. Here are three of our designs, each showcasing a different device with different threshold specifications. One method of assessing a design would be to record a video of your switch and see at what angles the transitions occurred. If these transitions occur outside of your bounds, be sure to check that the mechanical dimensions are what you expect them to be. This concludes our demonstration. To learn more about how to use Hall Effect sensors for your rocker switch design, we have linked some resources with the video. Additionally, 
The tool presented in this video can be found under the Magnetic Sensing Proximity tool on TI.com. Please visit TI.com backslash Hall Effect to find more resources and tools.